Uh, Coach Ush, your uh, throwers have had a really impressive season. Uh, there's been school records. There's been uh, uh, school records uh, in, in three different events, uh, men, women, uh, shot put, and, and then the, uh, the weight throw. Um, has this been kind of a breakout season for the throwers? Well, I would I would say yes and no. Um, I think it's been building, and, and you know uh, we were just addressing, you know, a couple of years ago having gone to a national championship and and uh, having to, you know, not compete. And, and since that moment, I think uh, our group has been laser focused. Um, a couple of the people that are, that are coming to this meet um, were at that meet and didn't have an opportunity, and and uh, they've kind of led the charge of you know just outworking and uh, you know, out competing a lot of their competition. So um, I think they feel pretty strongly about um, you know, they're given opportunities and, and, and capitalizing on them. Um, but as far as you know, being uh, you know, the breakout year, you know, Alabama's always had strong throwers before I was here and, and, and maybe after I'm gone. And, and, uh, but uh, I think this group represents pretty well um, you know, Alabama track and field, for sure. Um, and you're going back to an arena where the gentleman sitting next to you um, posted the uh, what is now the eighth best collegiate weight throw in history. Uh, does the familiarity with that arena, with that ring, um, help your crew? Yeah, absolutely. And, and as Coach Waters said, you know we've had opportunities to go and, and uh, train up there a couple times. Uh, our practices have been awesome up there. It does feel like a second home for us. Um, we've had some some tremendous performances um, with both the men and the women there. Um, I think the rings are very um, very much like our home ring here, and uh, um, there's there's a ton of familiarity with with the facility. And uh, again, the home field advantage I think helps us. We're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of family and friends and professors and and other coaches coming up there and watching us and and I think it's it's absolutely to our advantage for sure. Bobby you've been um, among, amongst the top five uh, throwers in the country right now you've been the most consistent um, with big throw after big throw um, what's been the difference this year for you? Um, the biggest difference this year I would say is I guess staying healthy through it all um, we made a lot of adjustments and have laid out a plan together and really stuck through it and we just did a really good job of working together and making sure that the stuff that we laid out, we stuck through it. Um, and that's basically been the biggest thing is just making sure that we stick to what we've been doing and, and wholeheartedly doing it. What is the kind of the mood of the team, uh, the men's team going up this week? Um, obviously, as Coach Waters mentioned, um, somebody from you have somebody in every event group. Um, what, what is kind of the feeling going up there? Um, I think the whole whole group is excited. I mean, this this meet, a lot of special things always happen, um, and the ones that follow the stuff that we've been told is just go to the meet and compete like you know how, and don't change anything and do what you did to get here. Um, those are the ones that have a real lot of success, and I think the whole group is is ready to go, and um, I think everyone's ready to see those really special things and and um, have the spotlight on them and and make their their name heard across the country. This will be your uh, third time to compete in the indoor championships, fourth time to, to be invited. Um, what are you looking forward to this week? Um, I'm really excited because um, two years ago, my sophomore season, um, Coach Esh and I had a really good indoor season. And we, had a, we put a huge improvement on my freshman year throw to my sophomore year throw, like something like two and a half meters, two meters around there. Um, and that was kind of like our, you know, breakthrough year for the both of us and we really kind of looked at each other and really excited about that and um, there's a lot of emotion that went into that meet for the both of us and it was a great start and uh, we were super thrilled for the rest of the season and we're looking forward to NCAAs and it got canceled um, and then unfortunately uh, we lost that season and then didn't get to compete and then the next year same thing we we're ready to go and get after it again and I had got a pretty significant tear to my ab um, during the end of the fall, right around December. Um, so I had to take a bunch of time off and compete through that and battle that. And then that didn't stop us, though. I mean, we, we laid out a plan again and, and you know modified things and do what we could to, to compete and train and do our thing. And uh, we showed up last year, and I had a pretty good job. We I made fifth, and I was excited for it. But um, you know, we both left that meet knowing that there was more, and there's more to do and, and, and this season we're starting to see that same success again on a you know even higher level and we're ready to really kind of run away with it now. Chris? Uh, I'll start with coach please and um, you mentioned the familiarity just how nice is it 
how much of a difference does it make the fact that you don't have to go to Oregon or someplace like that from a travel and logistical standpoint? Uh, how, how much does that help you? Uh, it helps us significantly for sure. And, you know, we, uh, we had great practices this week and, and for us to, to just pop up an hour away, um, it's, it's just totally awesome for us to be able to, to not have to, to, to travel on a Sunday and change time zones and, uh, and, you know, deal with the, the weather and the different, different th kind of things that can get in the way of the travel and such. So yeah, this is uh, hopefully going to be a super easy trip up the road. And, uh, I think it helps us significantly. The person on your left, what does he mean to your program? Uh, Bobby's a um, Bobby's a champion in every respect. Uh, you know, he's he's overcome a lot of odds, and uh, he gives himself uh, to our program every day. Um, I don't know if there's anybody out there um, that there's plenty of people that work hard. I don't know if there's anybody that works harder. Um, I know there's nobody that uh, studies their craft more than Bobby Colantonio, and uh, you know he lives and breathes the, the hammer throw and the weight throw, and he lives and breathes Alabama track and field. Um, you know he his identity is with this program, and I think our program has some identity with him as well. So so he is a huge huge part of both our men's and women's team. Bobby, tell me about the hat. The hat. <laughs> Well, I came up with the idea of getting a all black suit and I wanted to wear my other cowboy hat. So I ended up getting this one yesterday to go with it. Um, so, yeah. So it's not like you're a big Johnny Cash fan or something like that, or. I mean, I, I yeah, I do like Johnny Cash, but that's not, um, I guess the reason to go with it. <laughs> the hat surprises coach too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I talked to you once before, uh, after the, the meet was canceled two years ago for indoors. Okay. Um, when you look back on that, um, I, I think you described it as heartbreaking um, last time we talked. Has two years gone by added any perspective to it, or does it just make you hungrier? Um, yeah, I mean, the biggest part of that season was um, I just started to get a glimpse of, like, the success that I've been trying really hard to get back to and, and um, you know, for – Myself and Coach Yash, like we're extremely, extremely passionate about what we do, and we both put our everything into it. Um, so when we finally got like a real big glimpse of success, and we saw the results that we've been searching for, and just putting all endless of hours and effort and time and um, everything into, it was, it was a great sight. And then uh, going into that SEC meet, um, unfortunately, I had fouled out, um, so that left kind of like a bad taste in my mouth, and I really didn't want to get back to NCAA's. The, two following weeks and, you know, kind of have redemption and show everyone what, you know, Coach Josh and I are about and, and that we're still the real deal. Um, so when it got canceled, it was it was hard. It was very, very hard. And, and even going through COVID, that kind of always just sat in my mind. And I still did a bunch of throwing on my own and stuff like that because I just I wanted to get better and just not have a setback for the years to come. Um, so it, it was it was very hard to go through that whole time and have to deal with that. And then um, you know, going to ne last year, same thing. We were ready to, to get going and hit it hard and, and, and do our thing. And unfortunately, I, I sustained an injury, um, but it just happens. I mean, we push our bodies to the limit every day, day in and day out. And um, it's just stuff that kind of comes up and goes. I mean, everyone deals with injuries and has stuff going on. Um, so this year to be back here and, and healthy um, and ready to go, I'm, it's, I'm really excited. Coach Josh is really excited and, and we're ready to um, just really show out. Uh, forgive me, I should know this and I don't. Um, is eligibility wise, how much do you have left? I have indoor and outdoor next year. Okay, so this is not like the last time. Mm -mm. Okay, but next, I'm assuming next year it's not going to be in Birmingham, so that's got to be kind of kind of special in that respect. Yeah, definitely. This is you know the last kind of really big home meet here, um, and. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of where it all began because my, my freshman year competing, it was also hosted here as well. Um, so it's cool to see, you know, how far I came from then, um, you know, now three, four years later till today, um, just the progress that has been made and, and, and how much I've grown and, and developed and um, just the lessons I've learned through Coach Yush and, and Alabama track and field.